Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here with Matt Matt Fishing back with another video. And today we just have a little unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. And then actually we have another one right here from Shop Carl's. Just a few little things and they're nothing crazy. Hopefully you guys don't mind the unboxing videos. I'm going to have quite a few coming here and there. So be on the lookout. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead, head over to that subscribe button. If that guy is lit up red, go ahead and click that. Turn that guy out great. That means you are subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate it. Go over to the right there. Click that notification bell. Click on all. That way you get notified every single time I upload a video. And be sure to keep smashing those owls, guys. It really means a lot. Definitely helps out the channel. And also, before I get into this unboxing, I am now pro staffed with Wu Tungsten, guys. So. So, I'm really stoked about that can't wait to be working with that company and um i'll have a 10 percent off link down below off your first order doesn't give me anything just gives you guys a little bit off and um if you guys haven't checked them out definitely do so i'm going to be using their no chip tungsten so um i'll be doing reviews and videos on those real soon so be on the lookout for that and i will work on giving you guys a discount code um just give me a little bit of time i'm going to try to get you guys a discount code to use anytime you order so um let's get right into the unboxing so a lot of the stuff i got off of tech warehouse um pretty much kind of just random stuff stuff i want to try out um black friday sale stuff discount and stuff like that so again i don't really look at reviews of baits or anything like that i kind of just order to check them out so really don't know how all this stuff is but let's go ahead and right into it here so here we got the Boy Ducket BD Series swim baits here. This is a seven inch version in baby bass right there. Big old paddle tail swim baits right there. You get three in a pack. So again, yeah, that color is baby bass. Great looking color right there. Nice looking swim bait. Again, don't know anything about it. Just thought I'd try them out because they were on sale. So all this stuff I think was pretty much on sale. So here we got a perch one. This is a sick six inch this is the six series good looking color there then we got the four inch upside down got the four inch again in perch and then we got the six inch baby bass right there good looking baits um can't wait to try them out again you're gonna probably need to throw those guys on big hooks big owner beast hooks or something like that well let's we'll start off with the hard baits first Right here, we have a hardcore crankbait here, the SR65. Right here, this is in a bluegill color. Again, I'm going to be uh, fishing a lot more different bodies of water, so I want to get some more dirty watercolors. And if I'm going to be fishing ponds a lot more, I want to be going with that bluegill style color instead of a shad. I mean, shad's going to work too, but most of the ponds are going to be having bluegill style bait fish, so I want to get more bluegill style colors in my arsenal so good looking bait right there guys you guys can see that pretty good good looking bluegill color nice little shallow square bill there pretty stoked about that guy never have too many square bills man oh up next we got a bill lewis this is the mr6 crankbait in like a hot mustard color good looking bait that's like a medium diver probably six to eight foot this is chartreuse blaze is the actual color. So the mid range, so it's a six foot diver. Six foot diver, nice medium shallow depth range right there. Oh, here's a bait. Um, I, I love these guys. These are the Ima sticks. This one is in uh, toucan, like the bird toucan. Good looking color right there. This is the little stick. This is a smaller version. So this is the 135. And then they also make a much bigger version as well. But I love the Ima, the Ima line, lineups. Sick looking baits, man. Nasty looking topwater. Really nice and loud. Be throwing this guy all over the ponds and on the rivers and stuff. That thing is really sick, dude. Love that color right there. So that's the Ima little stick and toucan. Good looking color. Here's another bait I'm excited for by um, Chase Baits. This is the Ripple Cicada, like this little cicada bugs, little top water lure in Orange Devil. Get this guy out. So this guy is pretty much like your little 
top water. Um, what's the bait I'm thinking of? Uh, jitterbug. Pretty much like a jitterbug. The wings on the front right there are going to do the wobbling. I have one similar to this guy, but it's a mega bass and it's actually a hard body. And actually, this is a soft body. That's kind of interesting. So it's actually squishy like a frog. Did not know that when I ordered it. So everything's really squishy, even up towards the head and everything. So it's a soft body top water, but with treble hooks. So that's pretty interesting. But this is going to be really deadly on ponds, guys. Really deadly on ponds, even big bodies of water and rivers and stuff. But mainly I got this guy to fish some ponds if they're smaller bass and um, under trees and stuff like that where bugs fall. This guy will be deadly. Alrighty, up next we got two of the BD Poppers, Boy Ducket series, right here. Kind of interesting, I'm going to take one out because they're kind of upside down. But the weight's towards the head there, which is kind of interesting. This is the 60S, so this is the smaller size. It doesn't say how many inches, I'm guessing like the 2 the two inch size. And it's actually a soft potty as well, which I did not know. So it is squishy as well but has those trebles on there. So kind of interesting. We'll kind of see how these go. These guys were super cheap. I think they were like two bucks. So um, it was worth checking out. This is like an olive green, olive color, you know, the IU style. Pretty much the bass are gonna be seeing the bottom, which is just white. But that weight up towards the nose there is kind of interesting. Curious to see how that'll play along. So already next, I think everything else is soft plastic baits. So here we got some Molex, um, I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm going to say Savita style swim baits. It's got a flat top to it, it's just a swim bait style bait here, let's see if I can pop it out, it seems like it's clamped pretty good in here. It looks like it has a super flat top to it, kind of in like a smoke shad color, natural shad right there. Nice limp tail to it, should have a lot of action, a little boot tail. But again, super, super flat top to that guy right there. And just a pearl belly. Nice little bait, just thought I'd try them out, you know, can't go wrong. Again, a lot of these baits I'm just trying out, haven't seen any reviews or anything like that. Just ordered them off of what I thought looked kind of decent and wanted to try. Up next, we got... The Buddha Bait Company Baby Mama. This is in hematoma. You get an eight count. Looks like it's kind of a uh, beaver style, bug style kind of punching, flipping bait right there. Nothing crazy. Just represents a little bug, a crawfish, dark water color. Again, I want to be fishing um, new spots, so don't know how the water clarity is going to be. I got a lot of clear water stuff. And I got some stained water stuff too, but I want to get more dirty water gear in my arsenal. So that's what the package looks like right there for you guys that are interested. So that's the Buddha Company, um, Baby Mama, and Hematoma. Alright, up next we got all missile baits for the last baits. So we got, you guys all know about the Baby D-Bombs, very popular punch and flipping baits. So we just got a standard black red flake and a black and blue right there so really good baits if you guys haven't checked out missile baits definitely check those guys out and the last but not least ooh, these are small holy cow these are the drop craw pb and j pb and j and sunfish let me take one of these guys out i did not realize how small these things are wow these are small. This is definitely some finesse fishing right here. They look much bigger in the picture. But look how small that little bait is. If you guys can even see that picking up on the camera there. Basically just a little, little chunk of plastic with two small claw appendages right there. Wow. That is small, guys. So definitely a drop shot bait. You could possibly get away with that on a Ned Rig as well. But man, that's some real finesse downsizing right there. Or uh, in pressured water or something like that. I thought they were a little bit bigger, like a little bit meatier. But um, good looking bait nonetheless. You know, that could be crappie, panfish, anything like that could pick that up. So that's the Missile Baits Drop Call. I got Sunfish and PB&J. 
And I guess I have two other baits in here. Um, Lunker City and Lunker City. These are the Ribster worms. So like a little worm with a flat tail on the back that are going to be. Could be a trailer on the chatterbait or something. Or just a regular shaky head or a drop shot. We got Ice Shad and Arkansas's Shiner right there. So that's it for the Tackle Warehouse. And then we can just go ahead and look into the mystery tackle box right here. Or uh, shop carls, I should say. Here, we got a Lucky Craft. This is the Gunfish 117. Flake Golden Sexy Minnow. Take this guy out so you guys can see it. Again, Lucky Craft Gunfish, one of my favorite top waters. These guys are sick. Oh, yeah. Good looking color, too. Kind of like a ghost minnow, sexy shad right there. Got a gold top, see-through, a little bit of purple, feather trailer. Nice deep sounding rattle. These guys are sick. I'll never have enough of these guys. If you guys haven't checked out Lucky Craft series, especially the gunfishes, definitely give them a check out, man. They are sick. Picked up some Wu Tungsten from Shop Carl's actually. These are just the bobber stops right here. Gonna give these guys a go. They seem like they're pretty decent size. So, um, I'm not sure what pound test, if these can go all the way up through, you know, like 65 pound braid. I'm not sure, but um, I'll definitely do a review on those later on. So, we got two packs of those. And then now we got some trailers right here. I'm really excited for these guys. 10,000 fish, Yoda worm. You know, you guys probably heard about these a lot uh, over the past year. I'm just now getting a hold of some here. These guys I'm strictly using just for a trailer. Um, I wish I could show you guys a video right now, but we're iced over. But these things have a crazy action as a trailer, especially on a vibrating jig or something like that. Um, let me see if I can get this guy out for you. So we got chartreuse, pepper kind of, and then a natural like shad style color. These guys are really in there too. So here they are right there, kind of ribbed. You guys can see that little tail, pretty flat flat bait not super thick or meaty anything like that but this thing's gonna have crazy crazy vibrating action guys it really does i highly recommend picking up a pack of these again got dirty water for my trailer that i want to be using and then we got a natural color right here so let's see the colors green pumpkin pearl was this guy for my shad style chatter baits and stuff like that and then chartreuse pepper, which is this guy right here. Really excited to throw these guys. So that's the 10,000 fish yodel worm right there. Irresistible tickle tail, it says. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Again, I will be doing quite a few more unboxings. They're still coming in the mail right now. Stuff is kind of delayed. And... Rod and reel orders will be February, March, somewhere in there. I want to pick up some new combos. Um, mostly going to be probably Daiwa Tatulas paired with the Powell Endurance Rods. It's going to be my main setup for the year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the boxings. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Hit that notification bell and hit those likes. It lets me know you guys are enjoying the videos. And giveaways will be coming up very soon, guys, so be on the lookout. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.